Hey guys! So I haven't made a video for a while. I feel like I say that every time I make a video though, so I'm just going to forget about it and we're going to keep on going. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're in my kitchen, which is a different location than where I usually film, but that's because I'm going to give you a little health tip, um, something that I've been doing for about a week now, and I've been on this health kick for maybe like two weeks, and the difference that I feel in my body, my energy, my mental state, everything is so vast that I actually think I'm going to start uh, doing more blogs about health stuff, like maybe the smoothie that I'm making in the morning, I'm not working out like an animal, I'm going and taking my dogs on runs, I'm doing minor, like, just body weight stuff, push-up sit-ups. Uh, other than that, I'm just eating super healthy and um, getting a lot of vitamins and minerals and doing this little trick that I'm going to talk to you about today. So this is something you guys have probably heard of before. It's called apple cider vinegar. You can get it from a health food store. You can get it at any grocery store, but the kind that we're using for this purpose, get at a health food store. This is Bragg Organic Raw Unfiltered Apple Cider Vinegar, B-R-A-G-G, -G, okay? Um, gluten-free, USDA organic, kosher. Um, this is 32 fluid ounces. I got this bottle for $6.49, so it's affordable. Uh, and this is something that you can take internally as well as externally. I have had these really bad breakouts that just started in my 20s. Like when I was a teenager, I really didn't have acne at all, but in my 20s, I guess I'm going through a hormonal change. I don't know. I've been breaking out. I started putting this on a cotton ball and putting it on my face and using it as a toner and honestly like my skin has gotten so much better so that's something first of all that I really recommend you do. The other thing I've been doing every day is taking it um, internally and medicinally. So what you do is you take your apple cider vinegar, get a tablespoon and you pour, I have my little glass here, um, pour one to two tablespoons into a glass. Okay, I actually do two. I might even do a little bit more than two. So once that's in there, fill the rest of your glass up with water. At first, the taste made me cringe a little bit, but now I actually really like it, and now I actually crave it. It is a little bit bitter, but it doesn't taste bad. I mean, it's made out of fermented apples. If you really can't stand the taste, put a little bit of honey in there, organic preferably, just so you keep it all organic. But I find that if you just let yourself kind of get used to it, you'll really like it. Mm. Like, I find it so refreshing. And once you find out what it does for you, you might even enjoy it more. And the taste might bother you even less. So one thing that organic or that apple cider vinegar is good for is it alkalizes your body. Our bodies tend to be on the acidic level and that's generally because we eat a lot of processed foods and a lot of chemicals that our bodies, which are organic matter, are not designed to process. I'm guilty of it too. I, I drink Splenda. If I drink diet soda, which I've been trying to drink only water, but if I drink diet soda, you know, that's not good for you at all. I mean, yeah, it doesn't have the calories, but the amount of chemicals that you're putting into your body is really bad. So we tend to be on an acidic level, and apple cider vinegar helps alkalize your body. Uh, it also helps speed up your metabolism. It helps lower your blood pressure. It clears your skin. The other benefits I have here... Um, what are some more things? Let's see. Claimed to be helpful in constipation, headaches, arthritis, weak bones, indigestion, high cholesterol, diarrhea, eczema, sore eyes, chronic fatigue, mild food poisoning. My boyfriend just had food poisoning and the only thing that helped him a little bit was to take some apple cider vinegar and he also took, um, they sell these things at the drugstore called charcoal caps and therefore, like, I think it's actually supposed to be to, like, relieve gas, but if you take those, um, and bloating, but if you take one of those and take some apple cider vinegar and you have food poisoning, it might be the only thing that helps. Um, what else? The potassium helps in eliminating toxic waste from the body. Beta carotene helps in countering damage caused by free radicals. It's detoxifying. Uh, 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 maintain firmer skin, a youthful appearance. It's good for people wanting to lose weight. It helps break down fat and helps in natural weight reduction. 
it's been called the wonder drug. Helps with obesity, along with many other ailments. So, and that is just a short list compared to some of the other stuff that I've read about um, about this drug. And I drug about this natural product, which is the best part. Um, and I really feel a huge difference. This is something that you can sip on. You don't have to try to chug it all at once. Um, sip on it throughout the day. I just recommend that if you are interested in improving your health, that it's really hard to make a lifestyle change. Um, and for me, the only way that I can really be successful in becoming more healthy or doing whatever it is that, that's a change in my normal routine is to take baby steps and to do it really slow. So this is an example of something very minor. It's not like, you know, this is a whole lot easier than starting to run for three miles every single day. You know, that's something that you work up to. Even with exercise, I started off with very little stamina, and every day that I go out and I run with my dogs, I feel myself being able to, even if it's just 10 more seconds than I could run yesterday, you know? It's like yesterday I would have been tired at this point, but today I feel like I can push it just 10 more seconds. But you know what? I'm not going to get hard, be hard on myself because I only went 10 seconds longer than I did yesterday. That's an improvement. And the more you do it like that, all of a sudden I'm able to run halfway around my complex here and, you know, just because progressively every day I've been doing it. It's a gradual change. This is something small that you can do. Just add it to your regimen. You know, you have to drink water every day anyway. Pour some apple cider vinegar in there and see if you start noticing a difference. And also start using it on your face if you're acne prone and see if you notice a difference there as well. So, yeah, I think that's all that I have for today. Try your apple cider vinegar. Let me know how you like it and if you notice any difference. And uh, cheers. Bye, guys.